For Criminal Media's Polity, I'm Tabi Shomulikai. Joining me today is Professor Raymond Sadna, here to unpack his column titled Evaluating What is New, Positive and Negative About the GNU, Part 1. Welcome, Raymond. Thank you. You refer to respect for the popular forces connected people on the ground, but also you have a lot of respect for business. So is this not a contradiction? I don't have a respect for business in the same way as I have for the popular forces for whom I devoted quite a lot of my life in the struggle. I had, in a sense, um, an emotional connection. I uh, I loved I, I loved the oppressed people in the sense that the pain that they experienced was part of what motivated me to get in the struggle and get, go to jail, blah, blah, blah. With a regard to respect for business, what I respect in it is in, not in a moral sense, but I recognize the power of business. So that if business backs something, it's not the same as Section 27 or the Soweto, Soweto Civic Association. It's a very powerful force. If you take them as a whole, they don't agree with one another on everything, but they, ha they have all this wealth, if you take them together, which can bring down a government if they uh, decide that they will not invest in this or not pay that or not, things like So it's very important if business backs something. It's also important because business doesn't have an interest in crime. It has an interest in regularity, in uh, the state functioning well. State capture wasn't in the interest in, of business. Funds were siphoned off to a small section. They now can't even be called business, but they were... Uh, it wasn't siphoned off to business as a whole. Maybe that some sections of business collude in uh, some illegal activities or commit some illegal activities. It seems to have happened with this listeriosis outbreak uh, and so forth. But that's not the same. Business as a whole is not in, does not have an interest in crime. It has an interest in stability and law and order, the rule of law, the constitution, those sorts of things. So in that sense, I respect the power of business. The popular forces are, are what some would call the rabble, but the popular forces are the people who are not being heard, who are at the bottom, who are starving. And some of them are organized. I believe it's important to have their voice heard. And what do you think of the SACP's attack and that of others on the left, on the GNU, especially on ANC linking up with the DA? You know, I come from the ANC and SACP, and uh, someone referred to Lenin. Now, when I wrote the first article in the series saying why I support the GNU and will do my best to make it work, I was thinking in back of my mind, of what Lenin would have done, because habitually it's still there. And Lenin was very pragmatic. He would have said, if there is a chance by linking up with the DA to stop this country from going down, to create stability, to create a framework where the future can be built on a basis where all enjoy their freedom, he would have supported. So, I think the SACP attack is a little bit uh, mechanistic simply because the DA is there means the DA is in control and whites are in control and all of this. In fact, in the situation where the ANC only got 40% of the vote uh, to say you won't deal with the DA, won't be in government with the DA, is to limit the chances that the ANC had to suggest that they should have gone in with the EFF and the MK party, say, would have created a lot of instability, would a lot of withdrawal of investments and capital and 
the uh, foreign uh, investors would have uh, affected the ratings we get, things like this. Now, I never used to talk that language, but when you have a country that has a large debt, high inflation rate, and huge inequality, you can't afford unnecessarily to create an unstable climate where people who rate the country, I don't like those rating being done by business people. How can they um, evaluate some things about politics? They're only, But the thing is, they are looking at what the market's like. And the fact of the matter is, we are heavily in debt, and we can't afford to ignore this. So for that reason, I support the popular forces in that I believe that's important. There are not many popular forces, but I support the idea of people getting involved in politics other than just being uh, voters every five years. Uh, and I also am happy that business is backing the GNU. Uh, whether the GNU will justify that backing remains to be seen. Also, Raymond, when referring to business and others providing various public services, are you not condoning that government is not doing its job? It's important that when you praise the fact that some people have stepped in to save lives in hospitals, uh, who, to get water to people, uh, to fix potholes. It's important to say this is the job of government. Government is not doing it, and they should not be in office if they are not doing their job. So it's very important that you, what people say, you talk on both sides of your mouth, and uh, you, on the one hand, say it's very good, the gift of the givers and certain businesses have gone in and done some of these things. Sometimes they've done it with government, as in this Operation Vulundlela, but sometimes they've done it uh, with sections of civil society. But it should be done by government and we should be punishing government for not doing their job by not voting for them, although I don't know who one should vote for, and that's a separate question. But so I think it's not a contradiction. In politics, you've got to learn to zigzag. You know, that's again what Lenin would have said. And lastly, you refer to the instability of local governments, especially where no party has a majority. So why do you think the GNU is more stable? Well, this is where uh, the SACP attack on the alliance with the, the alliance with the DA is, is ill-founded in the sense that the only way you can get stability at the moment is with the ANC and the DA. But as I say this, that stability is in question. There are a number of things which are today raising uh, questions from actions on the side of the DA, actions on the side of the ANC through their ministers, things like that. But when you have a situation where no party has a majority, the two parties who together make up 60% of the vote if they come together, it creates a large measure of stability. And I think it's important to uh, bear, you know, people used to say, hold your nose and vote. Now, it's important if you find this distasteful, you hold your nose if you want to. But the thing is, I believe at this moment, this is the only way of getting stability. We don't have stability yet, but some of the ministers are working very hard to achieve it. Some are a bit careless, and I think that's a problem. But uh, you've got to work with the material that you have at this moment to support that alliance. That was Professor Raymond Sadna speaking to Krima Media's policy about evaluating what is new, positive and negative about the GNU Part 1.